Good morning, Garden Family. It is 8 a.m. and 28 degrees here. Let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> it um, turned out to be much, much colder than expected. Um, I don't know if you can see from the video, but everything over there is frost covered. It's so pretty, I will say that. Um, and it's not like to the bone cold. I'm actually out here just a sweater, um, but you can see the steam coming off of the water here as the sun starts to kind of peak and crest over the uh, tree line there. Um, but I wanted to give you a, a quick view of what we were talking about preventing yesterday. Um, as you can see my little water fountain there. Hear that? Yes, it got that serious last night. So, um, let my water down here because it was un, um, out of the way, it's still um, wet. So it was not a strong enough freeze to freeze everything as long as it was protected. So I covered my strawberries. Like I said, I would um, miss this one little leaf right here, I can tell. And it's just a little frost on him, but for the most part, he's covered now. <laughs> and uh, should be good for going into the winter. Um, I did not get the chance to cover my um, tower, but since those were all um, bare root anyway, um, they were still dormant-ish. Um, they never did wake up um, in here. Um, but the leaves that did decide to wake up, they're fine. And I think it's just because of the direction that they're pointing. So I'll get some cover on that today. Because so I think this cold is supposed to extend until tomorrow night as well. <coughs> um, I don't know what the high is going to be. Um, i got to look that up. Anyway, um, down in here, this is the one herb I was really worried about. Because this is stevia. And stevia does not take frost well at all. Uh, but... In this area, if you cut it back really, really low and mulch it, it'll come back. Um, so it appears to be okay. It doesn't feel weird. Um, ooh, I forgot about this, but I think this is gonna be okay. This is the uh, parsley and the coriander over there. Parsley over here. Um, hopefully those will come back. If not, they're seeds. We'll just replant them. <laughs> Um, all of my berries are fine. They're, they're, they, they actually need this in order to flower, uh, to get their, their good chill hours. Um, this is my makeshift greenhouse. <laughs> we were under the gun to get it done, but um, my husband was nice enough to help me move all this out. And so far, it doesn't look like there's anything suffering here. I have um, oh, my submersible water heater in there and it's cranked up to 90 something degrees so when I put my arm in here it actually feels pretty good so I'm, I, I don't have my temperature gauge I meant to bring that out with me to see just how um, warm how much warmer it is um, as long to me if as long as it's hitting around <coughs> 35 37 38 something anything above freezing I think these will be fine for now um, this weekend I'm actually going to build a makeshift uh, greenhouse that will trap all the heat uh, but for now we just had to go with blankets and everything seems to be okay with that um, over to the actual garden uh oh nope that's fine I think the water in this hose froze ah! but it's pliable I think it's okay I'll make sure to, to actually tend to that before winter actually gets here. Um, I covered all of my um, baby leaves that I can see at night. <laughs> Missed a few. This will be a good experiment to see what will actually survive or not. All of this is like crispy, crispy. Cris I'm sorry, crispy, crispy frozen. Um, but once the sun actually crests, and I think 
If I look over here, the sun actually starts to crest about 10 on this side. Yeah, I think it's about 10 o'clock on this side. So everything should start thawing out by now, by then. And um, my baby, baby ones that I could see, I got under, got all the beets under. Um, as you can see, the water. So it is a rock. Wow. <laughs> I'm amazed. Anyway, um, all the peas. Oh, um, yesterday when I was actually looking back at the video play, I actually did see a pea. <laughs> I actually did get one now. <laughs> and some more flowers. Um, lettuce. Hard as a rock. But I do know once the um, temp actually gets on these, they, these will, these will um, do fine. But, uh, yeah. Now, I did kind of bend over the old stuff to kind of protect some of this. Um, and some of the lilies underneath are still nice and crisp. I think, like I said, they'll still snap back once the sun comes up. Uh, let's see. There's my collards that I did not protect. Those are the bigger ones. I thought they'd be all right. The little ones I did protect. I left all the lettuce out. Yeah, there's another one. frozen. All the cabbage, the basil, and I think this is gonna do the basil in. <laughs> I unfortunately did not get a chance to cut back any of my herbs. It was just too late. And you know, when you get off of work and you're tired, you just cross your fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> now, um, the um, cabbage leaf, the, the, my big cabbage here, I think may have protected my corn salad down here. It's not so bad down in there. Matter of fact, even over in here. So that tells me that if I, can, if I can rig up some kind of hoop system or just um, a sheet system for tonight on these, it'll give it way more protection than what I was able to do last night. So, oh, yeah, this is fine. Like they're all stiff, you know, got ice on them, but like I said, once it actually warms, I think it's going to start warming up. A tip wise, it's going to start warming up about. Uh, in another hour or so. I think it's going to start rising then. Uh, but I don't think we killed anything. Oh yeah, here's the other thing. I did not get a chance to get my peppers. Um, but other than the leaves drooping, and I think maybe it's just because of where it is, this tends to be the warmer end of the, the bed. Uh, only the outside looked like it got any real frost on it. Wow, well, this is impressive. So, uh, yeah, if I can get off a little bit early and race home and, and clip these pe um, pods off, um, it's going to be interesting to see um, see them pop back. Yeah, I wanted these to get a little more yellow. I really did. This, this is a yellow cayenne, and um, at least I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you lose tags. I think this is yellow cayenne. Anyway, I, I was hoping it would get um, a little deeper yellow, but I'll take what I can get. Um, there's one bell pepper of a nice size back here, but it's got a couple of holes in it. So we're just going to have to wait until we cut it. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Uh, a few little holes, but we'll wait and see what it does, looks like when we cut it open today. And those are looking good. Those are looking good. All right, my jalapeno over here. Like I said, this is actually telling me some things. Oh, you stuck around, huh? I don't know if you can see him or her. Let's see, can I zoom in here? Where are you? Right there. Um, before I went on vacation, I released a bunch of ladybird, ladybirds, ladybugs. See, that's how cold it is. My tongue's not working. I released a bunch of ladybugs. And, matter of fact, that's what that packet is right there. Um, because of the aphid issue. And um, I think I released them warm enough 
that they could actually get a bit of food and start making um, nests, I think that's what they're called, nests where they can actually start laying some eggs and get ready for the next season. So uh, it's nice to still see a few of them hanging around. Um, that means I think they like it here. Which means they have enough food. Which means I have aphids. Damn! <laughs> See how I've reached that conclusion? Anyway, um, the um, hibiscus is leaning over. Um, please, anybody that grows this, let me know if this is supposed to come inside. I didn't see anything that said it, it did. Um, but, hmm. I am getting new leaves on it, but it doesn't seem as happy as it did before. Is this just the, you know, touch of frost that's hurting it, or am it am I like hurting it, hurting it, and need to bring it inside? Please let me know. Um, yeah, see more ice. It's the only thing I can think of to weigh these things down in case a breeze came through. So, <laughs> uh, but I don't know if you can see down in there. There's um, the plants are doing fine. Some of them actually even have a little heat radiating off of them, so they are doing great. Okay, down in there. So I got them, I just kind of covered the ones that I knew were uh, going to do something and um, cross my fingers on the other. So I will give you a update later on this afternoon after the temperature is warmed up and let you see what remains <laughs> all right guys i hope everyone has a good day oh wait 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 before we go we gotta get gotta, gotta check in on the experiment oh you've got to be kidding me look at that <laughs> oh this poor little plant oh my goodness but uh yeah everything's kind of wilted down and crispy and crunchy um That, that looks like it's losing some of its fuzz there. I think with some protection it'll probably be alright. Uh, but I don't think they're going to get much bigger. It's just too cold. Okay. I think I told um, Barefoot Garden, if this doesn't happen next summer, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> this needs to just, just go bananas next summer. <laughs> What I would love for it to do, if this can, where's the other one? I know it's probably impossible, but if this one can get big enough to give me seeds again, like it did last time, yeah. Yeah, we're going to collect them puppies and throw them in there. Okay. Uh, everything else actually looks okay. This is kind of giving me an idea of, of um, what areas are getting hit the hardest, what needs to definitely be covered versus what can, can survive on its own. Um, the side closest to the house um, seems to be less frozen, <laughs> which makes sense, versus the uh, items that are out here. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot my, um, in those um, hanging baskets are mini grapes. They're meant, actually meant to be in those baskets. Um, and they are covered covered in frost as well so yeah I think that's all I think that's all like I said I'll, I'll be back this afternoon and um, give you guys a take on however they fared all right have a good day guys bye